Let my prayer rise before thee as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Good evening, this is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. It is the 13th of April, the year of our Lord, 2022. It is a Wednesday night. Tomorrow will be Monday, Thursday. And this is our final reading for the week. It also comes from St. John's Gospel, the 13th chapter, verses 16 through 38. When we started on Monday, I said a simple prayer, Epitha, may your ears be open. I pray your hearts are opened by these readings. And if you wish to join us on Monday, Thursday, it will be at 7 o'clock at Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. Tenebrae, that service, that, that Good Friday service of darkness, will be at 8 o'clock also at Messiah Lutheran Church. Bring a flashlight if you show up for that. But tonight we get into the word of the Lord together. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but the scriptures will be fulfilled. He who ate bread has lifted his heel against me. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I am telling you this now before it takes place, that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. After saying these things, Jesus was troubled in his spirit and testified, Truly, truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he spoke. One of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, was reclining at the table close to Jesus. So Simon Peter mentioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So that disciple, leaning back against Jesus, said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is he whom I will give this morsel of bread when I have dipped it. So when he had dipped the morsel, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Then after he had taken the morsel, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, What are you going to do? What you are going to do, do quickly. Now, no one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the money bag, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the feast or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the morsel of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you, you will Seek me, and just as I said to the Jews, so now I also say unto you, Where I am going you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow afterwards. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the, re the rooster will not crow till you have denied me three times. So far, the text. there we have it. Peter will deny him. We all do, sooner or later. 
but the Lord doesn't deny us. He is faithful. He remains steadfast. That's all I have for tonight. Tomorrow will be Monday, Thursday. That service will be online as soon as I can get it online. It might be quite late at night. But hopefully when you wake up Friday morning, you can watch it then. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. God's blessing. Have a peaceful night in the Lord.